Close. David Malone is here with us in studio. He has just finished his first film. That's right. He is the director of this film. He's been working on it for three years. David, welcome to KTRS. How are we doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. So this is not a typo. This is not a mistake. You actually have completed your first film project. You were the director. You put this together. Yes, yes definitely. I am the director of Hercules the Brave and the Bold. And you're going to have a premiere in St. Louis. We can tell folks that's going to be next Monday at the Warenberg Galaxy 14. That's in Chesterfield. Yes. So how did it begin? You're sitting around. You're supposed to be playing video games. And you said, <laughs> you know what, Mom, Dad, I think I want to make a film. No, I, I wish it was that way. But it actually, I was in class one day, and we had an assignment. And my teacher, Mr. Monroe, came around, and he said, we will be learning about Greek mythology. And he told us to make a PowerPoint, read a story, do different things. He told me, I want you to make a film. I looked at him in probably the worst ways possible, <laughs> and I told him, I've never made a film in my life. I've been in a few, but never. And after that, I knew a friend. His name was Tim Holmes. He is a published writer. We started writing the script, and then it took off from there. No, now, now let's, let's be clear. This was an assignment in high school and yes. three years later, so you've already graduated from St. Charles High. Yes, this isn't going to count for any kind of grade, right? No, you no, know, it's not. I incomplete. wish. <laughs> now, wait a minute. He got an incomplete. Totally. Even though he's worked on this for years. <laughs> I did get a few points as I went along. I had to keep him updated, but I think after so long – it was just, there's no more grading oh, okay. on this project. All right, so what is, we know the Greek mythology, what is your film? Is it directly adapted from the story we yes. know, or did you take some uh, creative license with it? Um, it is directed just from the Greek mythological tale. It is straight Hercules, where we are telling the truth of Hercules, not the Disney tale, nothing of that. It is, this is the true, raw tale of Hercules, and we want to be as true and honest to the tale of Hercules as possible. Did I tell you he was smarter than both of us? <laughs> Alex Trebek wouldn't kick him off. 80, 80 different people <laughs> are in your movie. Where did you get your actors and actresses from? A lot of them came from STL Auditions, which is a local acting website, also from Azalea Agency and Now Talent. That sounds really like 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 Hollywood stuff. <laughs> but this is all, was it all filmed in St. Charles, around St. Louis? Where? It was mainly filmed locally in St. Louis and southern parts of Illinois. Mm -hmm. And so were you smoking a big cigar? And I got you, everybody, <laughs> on the, quiet on the set. You're the director, so you get yeah. to boss people around. You obviously had some older actors. Did yes, they ever say, hey, definitely. listen, kid, don't tell me what to do. I've been doing this for years. <laughs> no, because they knew that if they did, there would be issues. Uh, a lot <laughs> That's of the director actors. director right there, yeah. <laughs> a lot of the actors knew not to mess with me because they knew that they wanted to be a part of the film. And to be a part of the film and stay a part of Hercules, it was listen to what David has to say <laughs> and do it, even though you may not like it. And let's be clear, even though he was the director and bossing people around, the executive producer is who? The executive producer is my mom Your and mom. my dad. Your <laughs> mom. Let's be clear about that. Who's really calling and the shots? And that means they helped pay for it? Is yes. that part of the deal? Yes, they helped pay for it. So did myself. We have had a lot of different donations. We have had some of the cast buy posters. We A lot of just donations from everywhere. Now, we talked off air that one of your goals as a young filmmaker is to draw, try to bring filmmaking back to St. Louis and yes. to Missouri. And you initially had contact with the St. Louis Film Commission, right. but that kind of went south. What happened there? What happened when Jay Nixon cut the film budget in St. Louis, we were in touch with the St. Louis Film Commission, and they were helping us try to find locations. And then once the budget was cut out, when we tried to call back, numbers were disconnected. People said that they didn't want to help us anymore, hmm. that because the commission was no longer, that they could not help any films. And that is, that's one of the biggest reasons why the film is so big is because we want to bring movies back to St. Louis. Because there's nothing really here. There was Up in the Air that came. Then you mm -hmm. have the new Vivica a. Fox movie that's coming. Then the Kurt Warner film that is about to get started. But then it's – you don't hear about an 18-year-old making an independent film in St. Louis. been working on it for, for three years and it becoming this big. That is one of the biggest reasons why I want to keep doing the film. And with all the troubles that I've gone through with the film – Oh, you can't it, stop now. Right, and that was one of the biggest reasons 
once I started, I can't stop. It's I had to keep going or I would not only disappoint myself, my parents, everyone who has been following us on Facebook. I had to keep going. You think Ron Howard or Steven Spielberg has this kind of pressure on him? No. You think? No, they've got it made at this point, but they may have had a dream when they were younger. When did it start for you? Did you love movies when you were five, six, seven years old? Did you always think, hey, I'm going to be a filmmaker? No, I actually never thought that. I've always wanted to be an actor. I've loved movies all my life. And you can ask my mom, almost every single weekend, you will see us at the Regal at St. Louis Mills every Saturday or Sunday seeing a movie. And when I wanted to be an actor, I never thought, hey, I want to be a filmmaker. I always love being behind the scenes, but I love being in front of the camera. And what really got me on filmmaking was when I started the film. When I started the film, that kind of changed my perspective of, I don't just want to be an actor. I want to be a filmmaker and do that for the rest of my life. Did you ca- did you cast yourself in this movie? No, I did not. No, you, okay, oh. that would have been hard. To, I think maybe the first time out, don't do the whole directing act. Right. You know, ben Affleck has done this for a while. <laughs> well, he's just he won an Academy Award. He can do it. That would have been a lot to handle. Yeah. But you still have aspirations to be. You're going to go to Webster and study film and yes. film production. But is the dream long term to be the next Spielberg or to be the next Denzel? The dream is long term to be a very famous film director. That is what I want to do. And maybe once I get longer down that road is not only be behind the camera, but be in front of it at some point, but not starting. Yeah. I mean, if you're a Scorsese, you can throw yourself in one of your movies every once in a while. Yeah. Who else shows up? Uh, Quentin Tarantino shows up. Yeah. So become famous as the filmmaker and then you can cast yourself. That's a pretty good plan. So the movie, people can see your film. How long is it? The film is about an hour and 45 minutes. So that's a regular feature-length film. Yes. Wow, what an endeavor. And we can see it uh, at the theater that's at the Weirenberg in Chesterfield. Yes, next Monday from 7 till 9. We are having a red carpet premiere starting at 7. I love it. You can buy tickets online at HerculesTheBraveAndTheBold.com. And so after this, will you kick you know right back at it and start another project up? Actually, You're going to be a kid for a while and just go to school? No, I, I can probably never go back to that. Actually, right now, I am in the pre-production of my next film called The Dark Days. Well, do you need a couple of aging well, yeah. news anchors yeah. in your film? <laughs> Somebody uh, could be the TV guy in that. Uh, <laughs> they, you and, never you know, know. Every time they do a film and they show local news, the thing that kills me, every time they show the live van, the microwave van, pull up when there's a crime scene, they hop right out and always a cute blonde reporter grabs the mic, and within a second... Hi, we're here live at the scene. That's not how it There's works. no setup time. There is no live transmission. They got to tune in the shot. The right. audio's bad. As, you know, union lunch break. Yeah, I totally, mean, come on. You ran into technical issues, I'm so sure, you, along yes, the way. Yes, we did. There were a few times we've had audio issues. We've had camera issues. But <laughs> after so long, you learn from it, and we're back to going forward. Just remember it. the little people, will you? That's us. <laughs> Definitely. Holy cow. I can never forget about you guys. I watch you guys all the time. So there's <laughs> definitely no time. Up, that's what I'm not going to do. <laughs> David Malone with us here in studio. Just graduated high school. He's going to be going to Webster next year. His film is debuting on Monday, Hercules, The Brave and the Bold. So when you saw it for the first time, did you see it in the editing room when you first watched it? And will it be different when other people watch it? You know, the nervous director in the background are you going to be gauging people's reaction can you sit and enjoy it on monday or will you be watching how people react right now i actually have not seen it yet so monday will probably be the first time or this friday that's a total johnny depp move he doesn't even look at his own (laughs) so you handed it off so the editors were trusted to kind of piece it together yes our editor editor joel matzenbacher he is currently editing the film at the moment and i probably will not watch it until this friday but the answer to your question i will definitely be gauging people's reactions saying all right do they like it what's going on what is my mom's reaction so are you going to tell yourself when you see the film for the first time in its final stage don't be overly critical this is what it is this is what i asked for this is what he did are you going to kind of say man it could be better i could have done that differently probably both yeah probably the first one more than anything it's I wish I could have changed that shot. I wish we did the way that I wanted to the first time. I will be doing that the whole way through. Well, David, thanks for being here. Good luck with the film. And, again, people can see it. Hercules, The Brave and the Bold. And you have a a website Yeah, what's your website? 
The website is HerculesTheBraveAndTheBold.com. We are also on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and IMDb. I have a feeling we're going to hear a lot. File of this that young name man. away. Yeah. Holy cow. That's what we're sucking up to him now. In I case he's so a big Hollywood here in five, ten years. Where's right? my career gone? Thanks so much for being here, David Malone, with us here on KTRS.